Alright, ladies and gentlemen, every Mortal Kombat 1 fan out there, the arena has officially returned. Another qualifier is about to happen in our two thousand dollar league series fabs on the mic this is gonna be a good day fabs what's popping baby we're good we're feeling amazing <laughs> we're here you know back with the action back with the grind i'm seeing all these players return here to get that big big chunk Bro, of fabs, on these qualifiers good. season four is crazy like we say it every single season but season four honestly even though we have our top 32 grand finals right in each league fabs this is not gonna be an easy mission for these players it's not a walk in the park in here this is literally stacked like this is combat league on steroids my friend so many insane players competing once again of course we are very very happy about that and on top of that we are very happy that you guys out there decided to tune in once again to another arena event i see our chat going crazy so thank you so much metallicide for the gifted sub my boy counts in the chat hitting that tier 3 omega chat subscription we appreciate you guys thank you so much but today's lineup it is gonna be a banger because we start with a sweat set fabs and with that i mean in my opinion one of the best kitana players in the entire world dj is back at it and fabs in the long run i really hope that we see that king of the hill crossplay very very yes. soon because the thing is dj is a pc exclusive player that means he only competes in our PC events. I think he doesn't even own a PS5 at this point. I yeah. want to see DJ play versus these world-class PlayStation players because in my opinion, DJ has what it takes to, to be a top three Kitana worldwide. Yes, I said it. He really is, I'm not gonna lie. Not many people are rocking that Kitana like he is. And he's been playing that character since release, I'm pretty sure. He was playing Kitana Jax uh striker loud everything but now he's on the katana chameleon i think or maybe that's a five that exclusive strong that's, and he's insane i'm just proud fabs that we are able that we have the opportunity to showcase these pc players because you know otherwise uh, no one would have them on the radar because we are still the only people out there who do pc events on a constant basis so hopefully we can merge everything into one big league very very soon once king of the hill crossplay drops but today dj's opponent maxiel and maxiel in the chat already let us know since you were on the mic fabs he is gonna bring that devastating combination oh. can she darius <laughs> A holiday today it's a beautiful day i get to see my uncle i get to see kenshi get to see my boy play i love this that is right we have faisal versus so sad and this might be a youtube favorite i mean oh a lot God. of faisal fans a lot of so sad fans i don't know what character faisal brings though we see him play a lot of peacemaker lately oh yeah i'm not gonna lie rumors on the street saying that faisal will have the most annoying peacemaker on the streets <laughs> hitting really? your house soon be careful be careful he knows how to play like the most annoying characters ever in the most annoying way possible and peacemaker is that type of character so, i believe that very very yeah. strong even though we already saw the first peacemaker nerfs but does that really stop the character i'm not so nope. sure about that still very very strong speaking about strong things though and fabs i have to give you the reminder Omi yesterday. Back? I think he played for the first time in the arena in MK1. And he beat Schoolman in his first uh? set with Sub Zero. Yes, perhaps you hear that right. With yeah. Sub Zero. Dude, Omi had, had yeah, Sub Zero on his veins, man. He's been playing Sub Zero since MK11, as long as I've been seeing him play. And the fact that he's back here on this game competing, found his ground again. It's definitely scary. That's going to be a sub zero versus Scorpion matchup. We have Omi match. versus Javier. Yes. Yes. And these guys have been going since forever. So and be hype. We talk about our strong sub zero players a lot. We have a lot of them, believe it or not. I mean, Hody is there. We have It's Linkway on the card today as well, by the way. But Omi might be one of the strongest we know omi back in the days from those pro competition mk11 runs he has always mm -hmm. been a very strong player but that's sub zero he plays sub zero quite in a unique way and yesterday at least schoolman didn't really have the right answers for it schoolman went right to the main that means ashra was coming out at the end of the set but still omi looked so comfortable i want to see 
Omi versus MK Javier, in my opinion, might be a close one, maybe even a big surprise for the community. We are talking about the best scorpion in the entire world at the end of the day. Literally the best Gotta scorpion be in the world one. right now. Gonna be a good one, just like Montserrat versus another arena champion. Daniel returning Ooh. to the arena as well. And then last but not least, we have our new addition, Scorp. He uh, represented the minute. MKB team and he defeated Honeybee yesterday. Oh, this guy this guy on combat league is a menace this guy on combat league do not let him turn his mic on again <laughs> <laughs> yes scorp is gonna play really versus good, it's link way today so you guys see a lot of character variety a lot of sweats competing here and of course these community fabs they are bringing the hype as always we still have that little fab support goal up here at the top for my boy who wants to visit, <laughs> visit his family in africa so thank you guys so much for all the subscriptions, I can't find a user. We have Gucci, we have Metallicide, and Khan, we talked about it. You guys are the only reason why this thing is still going strong every single day. Fantastic lineup, in my opinion, Fabs. And now we are diving right into this first set. Everyone, put your seatbelts on. It's time. It really is time. And uh, I want to see the diversity here. As always, I mean, the arena is known for having the diversity. Not only of players, but of... Uh, characters and teams and different cameos, man. This is what I'm saying. This new patch just made things so much more, you know, so, fun to watch. Interesting cameos. We have Jax on the left. We have the boy Darius on the right. Fabs, give me your thoughts on this matchup in general without downplaying. Oh, I don't know. I think Tenchi's top one, top two, probably. Like, I already gave in <laughs> to, the, to the allegations, you know? But, uh, in neutral for sure, Katana does have a good edge on a neutral but on a hit once kenshi touches you on this matchup i feel like katana can't really do much man like uh her armor formally helped because there is breaks the armor that was dangerous there we go also yeah this team big damage oh big look burgers left and right dj and look at these little setups maxiel already fighting Ooh. for his life and there is another one look at jacks look at the Ooh. ground power dj just happily takes that trade that was two guaranteed ground, three guaranteed ground pounds. <laughs> we already oh. hear the first voice cracks from the boy Fabs. <laughs> Bro, I get so excited to see what I, what's going on, you know? And the fact that I cannot wait to see DJ come to console. I mean, cosplay uh, with console players because who is doing this stuff? <laughs> he is insane. And cool. that's why I want to see DJ compete versus the best in oh. the world. Wait, 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 wait. Swag. Oh. Give me that here. 50. Mm. Beautiful combos. Yeah. A combination we don't see often. I mean, Fabs, you talked about this. Kenshi Darius, right? A little glass cannon, so to say. Yes. Yeah, he will hit you really hard, but his neutral is not the best per se. Oh, this is gonna go. Oh, and the fact that she can stay safe because she goes airborne. Look, she's okay. airborne. DJ, DJ, can you maybe relax a little bit? I was trying to there talk about Maxia. Oh, yo, DJ, every single time I see you. With that katana jack, you keep getting better and better. It is... I don't even have the right words for this player. I mean, we talked about him so many times. DJ, from a technical standpoint, this man is so strong. And the way he plays katana in such a unique way. I have never seen a katana like that before. Yeah, he's doing the katana strings that keep her airborne. Or like something into fan. And Jax is just there to pick it back up, you know? It's amazing. And the fact that every time you get a trade with Katana, she does get that health buff. So she wins every single trade, technically, which is very, very beneficial for her. That is so, so impressive to see. I hope that you guys out there enjoy the action. We're officially on a level three hype train. We haven't even started, Fabs. You know, this is match number one. We just pressed that go live button and more than 300 people are here with us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's enjoy the show together and let's watch literally the best players in the world compete for their $2,000 prize pool. Amazing. I'm loving this so far. And I'm also loving that we got some PC action here, man. I love to see PC players yes. always giving their best here. Wait, knockdown? down? Darius. Darius is coming. Where is he? Where is he? But just generally oh, speaking, there are so many good players competing in the arena and disarted. Poor disarted, man. I love the, the sword that he's using for Kenshi's like light or whatever. It's really cool. There we go. Steady four. Bop, bop, bop. Resummon. Uncle back in the action. DJ not blocking his feet. Not watching his feet. 
Maxil answering back quite strong. He's like, okay, that was enough talk about DJ. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I roll in this dojo. Fight. Oh wow, the game just poke special. Tries to move there, but gotta be careful moving after a poke against Katana because you can catch you really well with those mids. Nice. Fencing mids is what she got, which she's really good at. Wait, is that real? I don't think that's real on block, but you know what? If you believe in it, you should believe in it. I think you can armor through it. Oh, that's a big confirm. And that might be round. Yeah, I've, I've, I've studied some Scentology, you know, in my early days of MK, and I was like, who can, can she get out uh, sent on block? And I don't think Darius is really real, but sometimes it works, you know? Another good opening from DJ. Yo. And there's the Jax, there is the setup. Yo. This combo, the, Fabs, this man has to pay us overtime. I know. And if he had a second Jax to use, it would have been a 52% combo. <laughs> Beautiful. Wait, he has meter, by the way. If he, if he throws McSeal right now, McSeal will die. Sexy combo. Boom. What's the mix? What's the mix? Uncle sneaking up. But DJ no knows miss. how to deal with it, just armoring through it. And this is going to be the second round. DJ tries to speedrun this. You know what? Even though DJ is up 2-0, something that every Kenshi player goes through is that every time you put someone in a sandwich, right, you see how they deal with it. So pretty sure Mixiel noticed that DJ armored after certain pressure situations, so he can just bait it next time and hit him for like 50 after it. So but yeah, let's see. what if... DJ is expects that bait and then baits Maxiel going uh, for the bait. Wait, I'm confused uh, now, chat. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> bait section. This is, is no, too this many is layers. Some Matrix shit going on. Too much, too much, too many layers are there. That's how you pretty much play Kenshi, you know. You have to make a read on when they can armor so you can uh, go into the mix. And it's how it is. Do we and see yeah, chat box? asking. Um, wait, it is time for the Dark Sorcerer. I like this. You know what? He said, I don't care about Kenshi anymore. Let me hit you. Let me play neutral and let me go crazy. And reminder, last time I was here, this team was insane. He would hit you with a jab string, jab punish, into net, into grenade, into meter drain, into prey, pretty much. Fun fact, perhaps for you, um, on YouTube, Quan Chi is by far the most watched character at the moment. Like, generally speaking, I think across all content creators, Quan Chi wow. is like top one when it comes to, you know, viewer hype and people wanting to watch his gameplay. And I can understand it. Let's see what Maxil is gonna cook. I see Cyrex in the back. This is gonna be good. I wouldn't be surprised because, uh, he has so much depth to his gameplay. And we got Microdux. Yes, yes, yes. Full screen. Bone cage on block. He needs it. Ooh, beautiful. Fatal available as well. Bone cage on block. What, what did he just sweep out the bone cage? Oh. But DJ, this man, he for, for him, it honestly looks like just another day in the office. Dude, yes. It makes him playing so well, man. But but the thing is. He's just, DJ is just able to counter everything he really that is. is doing. So many good reads we are seeing from the boy. And I see Asta in the chat with a 10 euro donation saying, because I like the bald man. Asta, thank you so much. Dinner is on you today, my friend. That mid is paying bills as well, man. The fact that he can, he's catching him still. Uh, just chilling in neutral without his mid. Don't look at your boat. Oh, nope, it is not your turn. Oh, and DJ, wait a minute. Is he playing with his food right now? Could have ended it. Way. This is what exactly Quan wants to be to win. Pressing in the armor. Set up. <laughs> DJ still pressing. Not impressed by those portals at all. This is good. Such a boom. That is good. He, okay. Wait. This is this is crazy. So Katana has a gap on her string, and Mixiel knew about the gap. And since the zone of waste portal was active, means Quan Chi had armor, so he just interrupted the gap with the armor that he had. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and, and I was about to say, Asta, thank you so much for covering the pizza today. And he's like, you know what, Rip? Get some sauce with it as well. Here are five more gifted. <laughs> <laughs>
I love this. Some extra oh. cheese on this. Asta, thank you so much. Who might be the, the godfather of this Katana Jax team? Nobody's doing it like him. Oh, overhead. I haven't seen a combo into Cyrax net so far. Did he just wake up? That, that might be the game. Because he just woke up. Huh? Micro dog, he dropped. And we just oh. armor through it. DJ. 3-0 sweep in set number one. Pretty, pretty unexpected. Even though, generally speaking, we had a 79% chat prediction on our Kitana loyalist. What a performance. GG's to both. Fabs, that was an insane match. Dude, something funny. Every time I'm here, I see so many 3-0s, man. Like, what, what's going on? <laughs> the people maybe want that you can, you know, that you can go to bed early today, Fabs. Every time I'm here, it's just 3-0s back to back. And I see the boy Rothor with the raid. Welcome back. <laughs> our, our, our arena prince. Thank you so much. I gotta say, coming up next, we are not gonna see Faisal and Soulset. We are gonna see Omi versus MK Javier. And this Ooh. might be the highlight set of the day. Yesterday, once again, the reminder, Omi, first time set versus Schoolman. And Omi won it with Sub-Zero. So today we get the lore matchup, Sub versus Corp. True. This is going to be saucy. And I, I know I say this every single season we have Javier on, but like, I know Javier might be the hungriest player yes. that we need. To, he wants to win this like, he, like, he's always there he's always the bracket demon but he hasn't won a season yet and i think he wants it more than anybody I and mean, he's showing up on every top eight whether he's offline online he's there in the top eight he's he's there he's the demon and uh let's see if he's gonna show up here and start cooking people even more and also classic scorpion skin also dropped <laughs> So many people on our YouTube say that as well, that Javier honestly is one of the players who deserve winning an arena championship the most. He is here with us for such a long time. He is always so close, but so far never able to close out that last set he needs it's for tough, the throne man. spot. You always get like a Faisal out there. You got a Kani Mani out there. You're always a demon ready to, to, to kill the Lopian. So but let's have I a look at it together. 85% on Jalapeno, 15% only on Omi, and we're diving in. The ch uh, players are in the lobby. Thank you guys so much for being here. 420 people in the crowd. Ooh. Let's watch some MK1. Also, I saw Javier post like some some saucy Scorpion BNBs recently with Chameleon, and uh, let's see if he gets to show some of them today. I think he ends the combo with like a 1-1-1 one, one, one teleport into Melina Sai. And then does a little up spear into the ender. You know, it's actually pretty swaggy. Let's see if he has it. The Omi here. I'll see. Okay, both of these characters were presumed to be bottom two, bottom three, but Chameleon <laughs> kind of saved them, you know? The thing is, looking at this set, it was such a regular, a BNB set, so to say, in the MK11 days. And in MK1, we never see that. In in competitive tournaments like never. Scorpion Sub-Zero, when was the last time you guys saw that matchup in a tournament? Probably MK11. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Are these both classic skins? This is so cool. They're both rocking They're beautiful. classic skins. And before my chat roasts me, I realize we have a slight sound delay. I'm gonna fix it after this round chat. Good old PlayStation with the Elgato delay. Ooh, Ice Armor. Dude, that neutral stage is so important. Nice. Omi. This man is here with a mission overhead mixery. Stay 50 50. We love them. Javier with 19%. Just oh, no way. Those DMs. Ooh, that combos. That was okay, good. You know what? Slide? Spin? Go. Okay. Should be fixed now. Oh, okay, that good. sounds Let's better. See. Ooh, ooh, safe. Any hit just launches <laughs> with, with Chameleon. I love it. I mean, Chameleon might be the optimal cameo for Sub Zero, in my opinion. Because yeah, Chameleon gives Sub Zero so much utility, and that is exactly what the character needed. He gets a launching 50 50 from every variation of Chameleon, and two of them are safe. Also has safe slide, which is huge. 
that launches as well. This is so good. Oh! He I think he meant to do fan lift. One. I think he meant to do fan lift, but she did not transition. Oh, she transitioned too fast. It's the side. But hey, Javier does not care. He's going to kill you for that. But this is a very close match and we can already see the overall level these two are playing at. This is world-class MK in front of our eyes. Oh, we're mashing. Overhead nope. again. Gotta, gotta block the head, you know? Omi. Is Omi the new dark horse in our tournament, Fabs? Coming in here all of a sudden, destroying all these arena champions. The restand? Reset <laughs> into the ball row mix. 18 frame overhead. Omi. Eight of uh, MK11. This time the low. Ooh. MK Javier, this man is in trouble. I'm pretty sure he didn't expect that triple claw. What do you do against that? <laughs> oh, man. He's so hype. This is so hype. I told you guys, this might be the highlight set of the day. Omi so on his Omi. way to that first thumbnail. Our beast. This man is insane. Oh, yeah. Fabs, honestly, I'm... potentially one of the best sub-zeros we ever had on stream. I, you know what? I'm not even surprised. But the way he's playing right now is just it's insane. Uh, doing the restand into the overhead. Like, you don't... Like, it's something that you have to put in your muscle memory that the 50 50 is coming so, every, so any single moment. And you can't have your off guard, you know? We have to ask our live audience. Chad, do you think Omi might be the best no, sub we ever had in the arena I so far? I am very, very impressed, especially after yesterday's Round set versus Schoolman. Five. I've never seen another sub do that. Like, literally versus world-class players. Oh, he got hit by the zone sauce. Oh, guys, the reset. Nice. Ooh, the throw go. So juicy. I love this. Oh no, our chat is saying the caster curse incoming. Oh no, did I now jinx it? Is Oni gonna lose me? Uh, Omi lose because of me? <laughs> no, no, that's how the game goes, you know? It's always back and forth. Yo, that breaker at 30% health. Ooh. Slide? Ooh, that could have been a good slide punish. That, that wasn't was, a punish. Wasn't a punish, yes. I was about to say that. Beautiful air to air from MK Javier. Our boy was pressing after ball roll. Very Melina. Fight. Ooh. Yo, he punished it. Not many people punish Hellfire into fan lift. Trying to mix. That is a punish all day long. And now Omi is trying to strike back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I like that jump to reset, to, to like, you know, give us some uh, setup potential. Ooh, no way. That was so dirty. I like how you can be minus a thousand and then fan lifts just, you know, rescues you. Oh, Rip, are you blocking that? Are you blocking the I'm, invincible I'm not blocking anything. Program? Invincible 18 frame overhead. What? The thing is, Fabs, you know, uh, when your name is Rips Arena, you don't have to block anything because you can literally just DQ everyone. Oh man. You know Thanos style. <laughs> they raise them from the arena. No way. He, he, second time he tried to go for that. I think he's hoping that Javier gets depressed after fan lift so he can dive kick him and punish. Oh, comes back. Chameleon gets blocked. Omi trying to secure the life lead. Even though MK Javier barely lost any life, that back throw might change it. Oh, that's good juggle. Good conversion. Beautiful. Yo, the combo. Ooh, 30. What's for breakfast? And again, oh. the little bait from MK Javier expecting the ja uh, back jump out of the Chameleon Glaive. Good stuff. MK Javier is on the board. Does the, 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 throw, the throw to end the combo for the Brutal? This is turning into a true 
Blockbuster. I hope that you guys out there enjoy the show so far. Fab's unbelievable numbers. Close to 500 people watching this with us together on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, a warm welcome to everyone on YouTube. Sub -Zero, Scorpion, Chameleon, welcome, Chameleon, YouTube. Two Favorite people, you know, dragon. love them all. Let me take a look at our chat prediction. Oh. I have the feeling it's going to be very one-sided in Javier's favor just because, you know, Ooh. it is MK Javier, 85%. It's how it is, you know? You gotta put your, your finances somewhere. And I'll believe in heavy. Maybe after this, get some more Omi believers for next time. Ooh, he just slides through and gets that grab. Perfect. Now Omi needs to walk the walk. Not, not even so that you're safe. You know, have to walk down Scorpion. No one is safe versus MK Javier. Hold on a second. I feel like... This combo's not over. Ooh, he dropped. I feel like he could have special cancel that. Respecting the staggers. Have your very patient. More. So much pressure. Omi trying to fight for his turn, but Javier doesn't want to give it to him. Good grab. I like that. Javier and, and, and uh, Omi. Oh, what? That was somehow not punished. Oh, that might be checkmate. Yes. Mari in the chat saying, I signed up for the first time for tomorrow. Can't wait to compete. And we can't Mari? wait as well. Thank you so much for my, playing in these events. My Kenshi Goat from NA? We're going to see him tomorrow, I hope. Let's see. Let's see. He's a really good player. Oh. I love both of them. Ooh, that's a good combo. No way. Put uh, him doesn't in the get it. The fanless is pushing too far away. Oh, checking the airspace with that Melina side. So worth it. Only six frames. Wait for nothing. Wake up, spear. Oh, the stagger works. On oh, no. block, that is a punish all day long. Big, big input error from Javier. I don't know what he tried there. Do you think that was intentional, Fabs? I think he assumed that he's going to be able to punish the... Oh, my... I thought he's going to punish the ice ball, maybe? Cash out. I think it's going to kill. How much damage? Is, what is the scaling? Are we mashing enough? I saw a jab in there in between the, the combo, but that scaling might be a little too up because of it. He's gonna drop. He's gonna drop my Might kill. Might be enough. It is enough. It does. MK Javier 2 1 over Omi. Wins. Are we gonna see that first game five tonight? I mean, I hope so. I haven't been to a game five in so long. Every, every time I commentate, it's just like three O's and three ones. <laughs> Hey, what the hell? Let's take a look at our lineup together. We had a little schedule change. That means Omi versus Javier right now. After this, Faisal versus Soset. Ooh. Another highly requested match. And I have no idea what characters we're going to see from both. So said most of the time, Gears. But then on the other hand, we see that Shao quite often too. Faisal can barely play the... Or can actually play the entire cast on the highest level. Yeah. It'll be very interesting. One of the most talented players out here, man. Like five, four months into the game, or six months into the game, and he can like play the entire cast. It's just ridiculous. It's so impressive. These Middle East sweats. Guzmo, thank you so much for another gifted sub in the chat. Let's go. Up block on wake up. Yes, sir, we got those. I mean, it's sub zero. It's, sub -zero. it's that baby damage. You know what? It's fine. I think if you punish and go straight into the chameleon, it might be like a big burger combo. But he's saving it for the 50 50, surely. Got blocked. I knew it. Ooh. This is gonna hurt. Sir. Oh, we get to see one, 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 Melina side. Melina side? Yes, I told you about the combo. Like, when the, when the matchup started, that is such a cool ender, man. Man, that was juicy damage, too. 40. No, 42%. Yeah, and it started from mid screen. And <laughs> it put him in the corner after. Ooh. Sexy. That was so good. I'll try to go for the delayed forward, too. 
This 50-50 is getting blocked now by Javier. Floss block. Stays alive. Ooh. Round two. Fight. Perfect timing. MK Javier flying in with the Jackie Lee. Oh, oh, oh. Does he have the pink available for that? No, okay. He's not going to go for the max cash out because there's no pink available. Oh, the throw combos, man. He has those with Katana. And okay, Javier not dropping anything. Yo, what? Punish. Oh, going into the... I feel like he needs to maybe punish straight into Chameleon to get more damage. But now he saves the Chameleon for the 50-50 again. And it works this time. Wait. Filthy. Should have gotten to Fatal because now it's in the scale, isn't it? Oh, oh. Nah. <laughs> not like this, Fabs. I think he's... <laughs> and Omi he had enough. That was such an unfortunate drop in the end. Heartbreaking. Oh, he dropped a combo because he knew Javier was going to get a breaker. Oh, tough. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. That is our second set of the day. It is, but there is more fabs. Don't see. even worry about it. I have a little banger in the pipeline. For all the MK1 fans out there, coming up next, it's gonna be the boy Faisal versus Soset. And I'm so curious, first of all, about the characters we're gonna see. And second of all, I'm very curious about the chat prediction. I know both players have a lot of fans out there. Who do you have, Fabs? If Faisal goes Peacemaker, I'm gonna have fun commentating this because <laughs> I my like my prophecy is gonna be true, you know, because of of, of of how knowing is gonna play that. We're yet to see um, Peacemaker Chameleon. I feel like Peacemaker Chameleon might be filthy as hell, like uh, disgusting. Yeah, Glizzy eighty one in the chat saying that uh, Arden is in this. It is Scorp thirty four, um, the Combat League menace. This guy is it's funny. Here's now. the boy. 94% on Faisal. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to be that one-sided. I mean, I mean, he did win. He did win the arena, you know, last time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's see if So Sad has some sauce for what? Faisal, what the hell is that character? But I hyped you up, and you go Baraka. Fabs, are we dequeuing? Say one word, Fabs. I'm getting him you know out. What? I'm, I'm kicking him out of this. To have you. Let her rock. Let her rock. Talk to me some peacemaker. He brings us the, bar the Baraka here. So the Zarda gets to be happy in this little chair, you know? All right. Now I got to root for so sad, you know? I think right now everyone is rooting for so sad. No. Not going to lie. Gears got some new combos onto him. Gears has some saucy 50% burgers out there, you know, that, that make your PlayStation fry somehow. It, it's been confirmed, by the way. They do make your PlayStation eat up because of all the effects that Gears puts. Is that three throw? Stop. Exactly. Plus frames with the big body Motaro. That was a nice caller from Faisal. I like the way he expected that backdash from Soset. Try to stagger so, uh, Faisal too much. He does, he's not afraid to get the armor out. One of the hardest players to condition in this whole game has to be Faisal. That man does not care about your staggers. He will armor when he feels like the armor is right. And there we go. We get that confirm from the glaive, and then the kill is here. Just realize this, this so sad team has 900 HP. I mean, after Ooh, the, the nerves, Soul Set immediately going to Motaro. Still getting 40. Not bad. Oh, we hit him with his own sauce. He's like, stop that. Stop that guy here. I feel like You're he good for that. was nice. Great yeah. timing on Soul Set's end. If he has Thanos Snap, he might be able to combo into that, so. Remember my words. Oh, tries to press on him. Wake up. Not against that back three from Baraka. No, no, sir. Ooh. Trying to get that okay. gym gem. And there is pick. 
Fuck, if Faisal went straight into Fatal Blow, the Breaker wouldn't be able to come in time. Oh, this, the, the turret. The turret. Ooh. And that is a punish. Beautiful awareness. Oh, that is good. Faisal immediately realizing that this is gonna whiff and then that full screen Fatal Blow Baraka has access to. Good reaction. It really is full screen Fatal, man. It's crazy. One like that. The beast from the Middle East strikes again. I was browsing through my Twitch list today, and I think Faisal, before the stream today, he, he played like a first 230 with Tekken Master or something. This man is definitely warmed up. I was like, yeah, let me do the warm up for that. The warm up in question is literally the guy that's winning everything. Yeah, <laughs> let me just warm up with, with the champion of the game. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is. This is going to be an insane season, in my opinion. So many phenomenal players competing. And looking at the rankings right now, Fabs, look at the PS, uh, PS5 side. We have four people tied for huh? first place. Lego, Video Games, Yo, Dark Lord, and Tweety. Bro, the fact that they're all three for three <laughs> as well. Three sets, three ones. Crazy, until right? The first 15 players are three for three right now. What? That is literally the competition in the arena. Round one, fight. Damn. I imagine you get like a top 16, they all have the same record. <laughs> oh. That shimmy again but I'm not three. I don't think I shimmy, I think he was just pressing, taking his turn back. This team though, not much damage on Baraka's side, which is funny enough. Baraka used to be like doing 50% burgers on people, but then the hammer hit him. Oh. Tech, get off me. But Faisal not impressed, we're just going for another one. I'm telling you, you cannot tame this man. Like, you take a throw, he will throw you three times. Like, three, three. Ooh! Oh! The reflect hit the million, not Baraka? That's funny. Hourglass? Yeah, Faisal just said, you know what? I'm gonna slap Motaro first and then you right after. Ooh, the hourglass was definitely uh maybe a Lao Ha muscle memory. Ooh, it's homework. It's One done. more break. One more break into it. Oh, wow. The Jackie leaves. Cannot escape the Baraka. Ooh, 37. With full cameo ready. Well. What is this pressure? Hello? Oh, what is that? What the? That what was that? Was the, it's the Jackie group grenade. Like, what? That was literally a Jackie combo. A six, only 16%, but it's actually, it's literally Jackie. It's literally Jackie Look combo. at all our Jackie x mains in the chat. Look how happy Kanimani is seeing that way of combo again. It's so like 60% damage, but you know what? It's, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Oh. Wait, um, did he... You you don't did get the chance to break anymore, <laughs> even though the animation started. Faisal, 2-0 lead. I want to see the replay again of that combo. Baraka wins. The Jackie. Not much damage, but you know what? Still some honest work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it honestly looks so similar. But just like that, we have Faisal sitting on match point. Do we see a switch from Soul Set? Is it time for the general? I mean, Laha wouldn't be bad. Because, like, he doesn't use Laha to, um... Like, setups. He's using Laha to more, uh, stay safe with his hourglass. Oh, he was ready to punish that. Wow, that was Faisal, a fireball. So aggressive today, the way he just leaps into combat. Yeah, his offense is too good. And the fact that he picks Chameleon for this gives him like pretty much full screen uh, threat with the fan lift. Anywhere on the screen, he is a threat. Trying to shimmy back to back. 
Let's also it with a stellar defense, blocking everything. But there is the opening. Tries to poke, but Giris is standing. Uh, poke is, is, is down one, does not have the best range ever, you know? Whips from interesting ranges. Punish. There we go. Damage though, not quite there yet. I mean, doesn't have the kidnap teleports uh, to be able to hit for 50. Does pick Frost maybe for the safety? And if he gets to confirm, he can load up an hourglass. Oh! But once again, Faisal is showing us that insanely quick reaction time. Round two, fight. Punish. He has, yes. Slave available as soon as the knockdown happens. Good grab. Oh, and Faisal, he looks so dominant. Look at the life lead he has. So sad, literally struggling getting out of the corner. Ooh, he takes that. There we go. Doesn't, doesn't fuzzy the mix this time. Minus four. It's tough. It's tough having to play neutral against this machine, even though he has a life lead. Uh, Faisal still trying to get something going, but that free from full screen is a good check. But here comes no so Hourglass. Sad. Trying to bring it back. Oh, that, that could have been a big punish. Trying to play that safe range. No punish attempt either. <laughs> and Faisal saying, you know what? Even though it didn't work the first time, I'm sliding in again. Oh, wait, that sounds that a little confirmed. bit. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. I'm sorry. You're what? You're what? Yeah, yeah. Fans, I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> Faisal takes it with the three. With the three, oh. Chad, I, I, I honestly don't want to hear anything. I'm not a native speaker, okay? I get away with stuff like that. You dirty minds out there. Exactly, chat. Dirty minds. I'm just going into the replay hoping that the community forgot about it. <laughs> Faisal takes it though, and that is the most important thing here. Great match, so sad. Thank you so much for playing, and Faisal once again, the beast from the Middle East. He strikes again. Uh, you can put him up against anybody, and he is just he is just untamed, man. So he, hard to fight. Uh, he is, just from a technical standpoint, it is such a strong player, so hard to beat because, I don't know, he never has a bad day and I don't know how he does it. Faisal is literally Mr. Consistency. But looking at our next set, and that is going to be an interesting matchup on paper, Monserag, our smoke god, entering the stage again versus our arena champion, Daniel. So what I expect is Johnny Cage on Daniel's end, and of course Montserrat going smoke. Not an easy matchup for smoke at all, in my opinion. Really? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, you can pretty much parry all of like smoke's gaps and stuff like that. Uh, but I do feel like I miss the days where our, our, our wait. What character did he used to win the arena? It was Kenshi, and he just dropped him right after. What happened to Daniel? <laughs> oh, you just no. give up on I see board? what you're trying to say, Fabs. He's top one now. I swear to God, Kenshi's top one. Invites are out. Let's have a look at our chat prediction. Who do you guys have? Is it the arena champion or is it the new addition to the arena empire? Monserac, 25% oh. on the boy right now. Daniel with 35,000 channel points. That is pretty much like, uh, like, a, like a story you see in the movies, you know? The gladiator makes his debut against the arena champion. Let's see if he can do it. What, what? I see something. Nita? Okay, we saw Nitara no. first. I know the chat doesn't see it because they still have the transition on their screen. But it looks like we might get some Kenshi gameplay. Oh, did he hear me? Wait. My praise have been here. Wait. Okay, that is, I think, the least character I expected from Daniel. I've never seen him play that character. Libe. I like it. Big combos, good neutral, good fireballs. I love this character, man. Maybe so Daniel cool. is doing it for the people on YouTube. Oh. Also for the robber, because that overhead is on block. Did he just throw him out of the strength? Oh, but those mids, not good enough to whip punish. Oh, wait, wait, second. 
Nice. Oh, one scorpion. Give me one more scorpion. I need one more. You got one more in here. These combos are so cool. Monster oh. How can he fight his way out of that Li Mei pressure? The spacing traps that you can apply with Li Mei are so swaggy. Like how Monster Rack blocked the hardest thing ever, and then he just like gave up on, on the punish. I, will prevail. Round two. I love that Daniel is Fight. testing out new characters here in the arena. Training grounds, man. The qualifiers are technically the training grounds if you are that good of a veteran. Phelps, my question to you, since, I mean, you're a way better player than I am. What do you think Lee May is lacking? Why don't we see her that often in competitive events? Like, is, is it a I, solid mid? Or what it is it? It could be just like, he doesn't have like a comfortable button to throw out every single time. I think that's the perfect way to say Maybe like that, a yeah, perfect. Like, I can see you it. You know what? That safe button with every character you have that you can just throw out to check people. You don't have Lee May, you know? But she does have good tools in neutral. That's my, that's my take. Not the gaps, not the damage, not the zoning. No, it's just doesn't have that one button you go for every time. But she's good though. Oh, oh, but I'm saying this is meant to people. That's almost dead. Where's the sector? Unavailable. Oh, that was so illegal. That was so illegal, man. Save TP. Oh, just gets the down one punish or the low poke punish. Ooh, 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 ooh. These combos are so cool. That was so disrespectful. <laughs> just the knee right after. Another oh, one. Okay. Oh, man, this kid, yo. The Disrespect Olympics. He's winning those right now. <laughs> the Disrespect Olympics. <laughs> oh, man, first. what are we doing? Oh, burgers. Into. Doesn't care. It is so frustrating uh, when people do that. Too. That was punish such a clean whip punish as well. Daniel going crazy in front of 500. Yo, it's Lee Mei. It's Lee Mei. Definitely Lee worth Mei. looking at. The way he just backdashed out of that sector pressure, beautiful stuff. But perhaps, do we have any news when Janet is dropping? I would love to know that as well. <laughs> don't talk to us. We, perhaps we have to schedule our, you know, Janet I only tournament. I, I really thought it would be this week, but like, um, what happened? Late might be, is it the six? It might be next week. Might be next week. Might you be next saying? Week. 20th. Okay, we need dates. Fabs and I, we, we have to start scheduling. True. I also need a date because I have to like rent an office in Angola, like in Angola so I can do oh, yeah, the arena right. date. Tell me, they gotta tell me, please. Fabs is gonna lap that character like in the, in the first, last hour before we go live so he has some inside knowledge. Oh man, I'm gonna be in, in, in Angola labbing characters, man. It's gonna be so funny. I can see Fabs actually playing in our Janet Day 1 tournament just to get Kenshi and no, Santo no. and Janet out. I will. I, I definitely would try that team when I'm back in Europe, but my ping in Angola is going to be like 200, 300. I won't even be able to play that game. Oh, punish that. Nice. But back to the match we go. Daniel, cooking. Yep. And these Lee Mei combos, they look so beautiful. I think you can get a 50% combo if you do two Scorpions in the corner as well. Oh. The gravity was kind of funny there. This is so good. Chip now, checkmate. Yes, overhead. Justice is for all. Round two. Fight. Ooh, press the edge to air. There we go. Mon's rag time. Getting invisibility. Goes with a little setup. More pressure. Daniel Ooh. tried to uplock, but that was the wrong read this time. He really tried. He really tried. Oh, he even went for the safe mix because he has a sector missile. But that knee from Lima is so good at escaping. Bro, Daniel's situations. whiff punishes are so clean. Yeah. Lima is a character. Oh, did he just? This time it works. 
invisible. Mix? No, sir. I, I block you while you're invisible. <laughs> There's so Amazing. many explosions left and right. I know. I think if we get a cameo that lets Lee Mei still combo from her knee and everything else and also help her neutral. Ooh, that was beautiful. We talked about move it several well. times. I think if more Lee Mei start going for that special move, the Lion Kick or Dragon Kick, whatever it's called, in neutral to whiff punish, they're going to start getting really, really woke. But yeah, this character is beautiful. I think what she lacks is just a good cameo that helps in neutral because Scorpion is just combo extensions, you know? If you can get a cameo that gives her combo extensions and also neutral presence, oh, she's going to be ridiculous. I think Lee Mei, um, especially the way Daniel plays her right now, Fits him quite well, because Daniel, he always loved these, you know, neutral playing characters, because his biggest strength has always been the neutral game. Back in MK11, when he played Liu Kang as a main character, it was ridiculous how good his spacing was. And we see the same thing now in MK1. Wait, why is our entire chat saying 69? What happened? Oh, wait, let me take a look at the freaking chat prediction. Is that, is that why? I hate you guys. Oh, I, I hate this community so much, Fab. They're paying attention. Oh, he just pokes on Wake Up. Daniel might be the most fearless, disrespectful man. Oh, his defense is so on point, too. We got Fatal Blow as well available. Looking for that punish, looking for that opening. Oh, that's a punish. You're dead. Oh, whoa. You um, could have killed. He doesn't cash out. Gets it anyway. Okay, he got away with it. But that was ballsy. Living a, letting a player like Daniel live like that? Yes. Saving the fatal in that situation. Whoa. Th that trade combo was so illegal if he actually got it. Oh, he's walking in neutral slot. I just mentioned, if you use that Dragon Kick in neutral, you can, your Lima is going to be so clean to have punish things with. They can even teleport. Oh, he's using he it in neutral. He's abusing that. I'm pretty sure he's listening to your commentary, Fabs. Put me in, coach, please. Get me in the, get me <laughs> in the booth with these guys. Fabs is coaching our players once again. Good up lock on oh, Daniel. What are you doing? I love watching Lima, man. If they nerf Kenshi, this is who I'm picking. This is who I'm playing. Because she's so much fun. Nice checks. Ooh. Sector. This is tough. That's punishable. It's really hard to like track what Smoke is doing invisible to commentate. But you can kind of tell by the, you know, how the pace of the game is going. Oh, that combo is... Ooh. Daniel is so close, he can smell that victory. Block pressure, Monserac, freezing over there in the corner. <laughs> what was that teabag block from Daniel? <laughs> Trying to fuzzy card of smoke that invisible. That was the craziest fuzzy I've seen in a while. I was just teabagging the whole time. <laughs> Alright, give me knockout situation into Sector. There we go, we need this. Oh, Look at Daniel's defense. defense. Okay, never mind. He could have killed if he went to Fatal. This is literally last Jimmy. round. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Please. What is going on? No, no. Save not me. like this. Not, not. <laughs> Perhaps I'm done. Perhaps I'm done. <laughs> End this game. Perhaps I'm ending the stream. I'm literally ending the stream. I can't do this anymore. My bone is just start shrinking every time they choke. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the biggest scramble here in the end, but Daniel managed to take it. GG's. You're literally making breakfast right now. I've scrambled <laughs> eggs back to back to back to back from each other. Oh. What a showdown. Jesus. I I don't get back up on my chair. I almost fell from that. That was Beautiful. Good matches from both, though. You guys, you guys, entertaining match. Good, good Lee May as well. I love that Lee May, Mr. Daniel. Keep playing that Lee May.
It was such a big surprise seeing Daniel on that character, but I'm very, very impressed. Daniel, beautiful performance. But perhaps that brings us to our last matchup of the day, the fifth one. And it's going to be Scorp versus Linkway. The last time we had Scorp on stream, we saw General Chow. And I know that yesterday, Scorp managed to defeat Honeybee yes, in his arena yes, set. Yes, yes, yes. He has a really mean Scorpion in his pocket, just like Javier. But you know what? Like the, the, the Combat League Demon version of Javier. Is, wait, is he not playing? Is he going to go into a... I told you, we are seeing the Chow? big daddy. We are seeing the general Ooh. in action. Arena. <laughs> Remember this guy one time. We played and he was on the Scorpion, but now he's on the Shao. And I like it. I love that Shao skin as well. Not gonna lie, that looks dope. He is he's pretty evil. Oh, but speaking of skins, this this Ice King skin here from Sub-Zero. Kind of cold. And you're forgetting how Lin Kuei is also really good with that Sub-Zero. Another great matchup for YouTubers as well. I mean, General Shao, Sub-Zero, that's always a blast to watch. And Lin Kuei starting strong. So... Oh, he loved that sector because of that particular reason. He can catch so much movement. Very late break from Linkway. I don't know if I agree with that. With punish, oh. though. Beautiful. Empty jump, back dash with punish. Layers. 30 seconds into the game, or 40 seconds into the game, we're seeing gaming so far. I love it. Risking punish it that. all. There. Oh, we dropped the punish. In this kill, I know it's Scorpion. So it might be like some hospital damage. <laughs> you mean Sub Zero fast? Oh yeah, 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 Sub Zero. <laughs> this, is, this is some some Sub Zero damage. Thirty three, honestly, not bad for two Serena. <laughs> Remember when the, the game dropped? Everyone was doing like forty five percent meterless with two Serenas, but you got Scorpion here. Can even hit forty with double Serena. Well, no, the boy Scorp trying to answer back. <laughs> Made it. Xiao doesn't have a proper fireball projectile. Not even with Sector. Did he I just love jump on little, him? little proximity as from Scorb as well, you know? Just the kick into Sector. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, it tries to be safe. Oh, it. Zero's movement is pretty good. Honestly, it makes sense. He's always sliding, you know? Ice on his feet. Are we seeing some some footsies right now in a Mortal Kombat game, perhaps? After a bunch of sweeps and three and three ones, we get footsies and, and, and uh, uh, you know, some some passive neutral. It's going like fighting. Link for your life support. He has the mix ready, but. 40% Sub-Zero needs the Omega Optimal for that. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. And we're uh -oh. just sliding in these DMs. 50-50, 50-50, yes. <laughs> I can smell, <laughs> I can smell that overhead coming. Straight from MK11, hit him with the mix. Don't it's remind me of the MK11 days. I know that a lot of people, especially on YouTube, they found us during the MK1 release day. First, should we remind them how our MK11 Grand Finals always worked back in the day? Chad, it was a top eight. There was, I remember the last one, we had like 6,000 Euro prize pool or something. And I think six out of eight characters in Grand Final were Sub Zero. It was, and it two was some dark times. It was dark times, man. Yep. It was dark times. It was, we were he commentating, and then just to be even better, dark. game five, double grand final reset, so just some zero mirrors. I was like, Ugh, <laughs> save me, save me, save me. I see our boy Nanashi, the MKB leader in the chat, rooting for the boy Scorp. Let's see. The thing is, perhaps, I, Scorp told me, you know, it is just so different playing on stream. And I can understand it. There is so much pressure, especially if you're not used to it. If you're not competing in these uh, events for such a long time. 500 people watching you, like 20,000 people watch you on YouTube on top of that. This is like a, a different pressure. 
Yo, and these guys that watch, they judge your game like so bad, bro. You oh, drop yeah. one combo because like something, like a plane crash in your house, you'd be like, this guy sucks. <laughs> bro, I can't even look at my screen. Like, what the hell? Uh, YouTube is ruthless. That was no, a no, nice no. uplock from Link Wei. Yo. That uplock is like, I read you like a book. That was a disgusting uplock. Yo. Safe. Oh. <laughs> Tried to end the game there with that slide. Next time. Does he have breaker available? Yes, we see it. More neutral. 30 seconds left. Nice blocks. No slide punish on that. I think you can punish it with slide from that range. This is close. Again, neutral. We are dancing left and right, trying to oh. bait those buttons, trying to get the whip polish, and there is Serena, but where's the slide? slide. No, no, Link Wei is panicking. Can he punish? <laughs> Xiao can't even punish that. 10 seconds. Nine. Punish! No way. Can he kill? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Dude, and score oh, no. manage on the last second. <laughs> Round two. Five. I love that one. You, you could literally see, you know, how scared Link Wei was messing up that combo and then just mashing on his controller. He's like, please save me. <laughs> oh, he's going crazy. He's going crazy. The sauce. Sauce Lord. Put it down. Boom, boom. Go up, okay. Oh, he tries to go. That reset was so risky to go for, but I respect it though. Three bars on Link Wed's side. So, we can make one more mistake, son, and then breaker time. What? That was so risky. Ooh, grabbing him on a dude. That was. These guys just keep impressing me. Keep second and second. This life they though. Scope looking for maximum chip. There was the standing two. There is the low, and we break immediately. Mm, that break on the knockdown. I like that. Lead. Oh, conversions. Yo. Yo. Scorp, he is here tonight representing MKB, and we are on the board. 1 1. General Shaw wins. This is another beautiful match. We honestly had so many cool sets on stream today let's take a look at our lineup again i mean we started with dj versus maxiel faisal so said omi mk javier monserek daniel and now score blink way so many different characters as well yes and i love it a lot of sub zero today as well you know I'd like to see some sub zero have you already seen the cameo variety we've got and people were hitting on that patch look how many cameos Different cameras you got today. I still I, don't, there I don't give a shit what the people said about the patch. It was glorious. It was such a perfect step in the right direction. I don't understand all the hate the patch got. Yeah, we Stop we need some power. buffs in the long run, but that doesn't make the patch bad though. Like, yeah. you know. So many different options here uh, on this stream, and I'm, I'm I'm loving this day, man. Oh, that's a proxo at that. Ooh, big punch. There we go. Clone on block. Still one of the most like unanswered questions of this game. Is it safe? Is it real? Can we punish it? Who knows? Dirty oh. little setup from Scorp. I like that. Double knee in the corner. Axe is back and now Scorp running Ooh. away with it. We take the lead. Beautiful. I think Sector is one of the most unexplored cameras in this game and if they buff his missile cooldown or something like that or anything anything he might be the go character the go, go cameo i see nuji saying that melina can punish uh clone and block yeah some characters have the option some just don't wake of violence from scorp right into that overhead and that is so plus on hit the boy Lin Kuei, he's, uh, be careful with neutral because this is gonna hurt this breaker is gonna come alive isn't it we can see Scorp getting more and more comfortable. Oh, for sure. Good block. A double poke. <gasps> oh, we see That's armors him? left and right. Scorp all of a sudden looking like a complete different beast in this match. Does he have the download ready? Right now it looks like it. 2-1. Saucy game number four happening after 
and delete it. Loading towards uh score right now. No, no, she's saying he feels comfortable now. We can see it. General Shaw, Sub Zero, Sector, Chameleon, Treasure Trooper. I was wrong. To the, trust you know what? The only thing. Yes, the only thing that's you missing today, Fabs, we haven't had a single game five so far. So, I'm telling you, I haven't commented a game five in. The Two weeks probably. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> we, I, I think we had three yesterday. I'm on the mic. I don't get game fives. That was good evasion on that missile as well. This is good. This is good stuff from Lin Kuei. He can possibly take us to a game five. Oh. Uh -huh. More pressure again. The low. It worked the last time. This time, Lin Kuei blocked it. Oh, too late. Yo, these slides. Oh, I see the chameleon switch. Oh my dude. Linquay does not want to like wait for his turn. He just keeps going and going and going, which probably, I think is gonna make Scorp a bit more hesitant on when to press. Yeah, Link plays Sub Zero in a very, very oppressive, aggressive way. He takes the risk, sometimes gets punished for it, of course. You know, that's that's always the scramble. Oh. Interrupting that back two, and we talked about just that. There was a phenomenal oh. whiff punish from Scorp, though. Fatal, cash out, there it is. The boy is more than Breaker. Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Nice. Jump. Oh, crazy? good awareness. I was like, what's the crazy thing he's going to do? Ball roll immediately. I see my boy Arm Kratos with the 31-month reset. Aaron, thank you so much, brother. Ooh. Arm Kratos. The big one. Almost baby. Go. Almost three years, yeah. Wow, Lila, I love this. Wait, um, I love how they really gave a dive kick to Sub Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I love that addition as well, honestly. Sub Zero, from a, you know viewer perspective, such a cool character design. Like the way his combos look, the buttons he has, great stuff. But can definitely need a, a little bit more damage, in my opinion. Still, even with Chameleon, yeah, I don't know. The, the, the beta definitely hurt Sub Zero's reputation because he was doing so much damage in the beta, and it was like, you know what? No! What in the wake up ball row is that? Nice. Final round. Fight. Am I gonna get five here? Let's switch out once. Go with the patience from Scorp. Sometimes the best option is to just not do anything and block, you know? More sector, there's the low, just the stagger. Interrupt. Ooh. Oh, both of them are pro. Oh, we are pressing! That wasn't even a pop. So scary. The trip card! Dead Glaive available. Oh, freezing the sector as well. Scorp has the life lead. He doesn't really has to approach Lin Kuei right now. Yeah. Has to be careful on the approach from Lin Kuei, though. Oh, and he goes back to the other side. 40 seconds left. 80% health. Wake up dive kick. That's it. Ooh. No breaker inside. Scorp <laughs> dropped it. Rip. There's the down oh. one. He got it. Finally able to squeeze it in. And this looks like a fatal. GG to both. Scorp takes it. What a beautiful matchup that was. General Shao and Sub Zero going at it here at the end of the stream. GG to both. General Shao wins. That is our day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is our day without a game five. That is that is on you, Fabs. Uh, guys, your challenge is to please make a game five happen when I'm on the mic. Please, please, please. <laughs> so, what can I say, chat? 
thank you so much for being here today thank you so much for spending time with us just like every single day we're gonna be back tomorrow fab's gonna be on the mic for that as well so have a wonderful evening stay safe out there and we're gonna see each other again very very soon we're sending you over to the beautiful vera be nice in the chat you know i'm watching every single one of you and i'm catching <laughs> you again tomorrow take care guys we're out <laughs>